In August, a huge explosion hit the Lebanese city of Beirut. Effects of the blast were captured by a wedding photographer. The couple looked radiant, but then... Windows were shattered and dust and debris filled the air. The photographer reported that neither the couple nor anyone involved In October, a Jeep came crashing down a mountain pass right in front of an oncoming vehicle. The Telluride, Colorado incident was caught on dash cam. Susie, a passenger in the Jeep, was thrown in the fall. She escaped with her life. Her dog, Decker, was also thrown from the vehicle. It's remarkable that the falling debris, the rock fall, and the Jeep itself didn't injure more people. There was another heart-stopping catch in July. Two children were dropped from the window of a burning building. People gathered below to catch them. The terrifying incident happened in Grenoble, France. The kids, 3 and 10 years old, were taken to a hospital and treated for smoke inhalation. They were unharmed by the fall, though two good Samaritans had to be treated for injuries they sustained while making the saves. In October, there was a frightening home invasion in Florida. A young mother opened her bedroom door and was met with gunfire. It started when a guest of the homeowners pulled into their driveway. Two masked gunmen appeared out of nowhere and forced the driver inside. When the homeowner opened the door, the robbers ordered everyone to the floor at gunpoint. Ansley Pacheco heard the commotion from her room. I said, don't show me my son is in here. Don't show me! My son is in here! But one gunman opened fire. He started shooting at me. They shot at me about seven times, six, seven times. She grabbed her own gun and fired back. Her husband and a friend took her gun and chased after the invaders. No one in the house was injured, but the house itself was riddled with bullets. WSVN reporter Sheldon Fox pointed out the holes. In the closet door, in the bathroom door, on the headboard of the bed, and on the television. They could have killed me, they could have killed my son. They were shooting right over his head, they didn't care. In August, a huge explosion hit the Lebanese city of Beirut. Effects of the blast were captured by a wedding photographer. The couple looked radiant, but then... Windows were shattered and dust and debris filled the air. The photographer reported that neither the couple nor anyone involved in the shoot was harmed. The scene played out at the same time in another part of the city. The wedding party rushed for cover, shaken but unhurt. Meanwhile, at a hospital in Beirut, a woman giving birth was shaken by the blast. <laughs> Shortly afterward, baby George was born healthy. And no one was hurt in October when a bomb dating back to World War II exploded in a Polish waterway. The powerful blast sent a column of water into the sky and shook buildings and boats nearby. 16-year-old soccer player in Russia was struck by lightning. It happened on the field during a warm-up with his team. The moment was caught by surveillance camera. Young Ivan's coach performed... In February, a gymnastics coach became an instant hero. Watch as a nine-year-old competitor runs toward the vault and launches herself onto the springboard. She was off by a little and could have suffered a terrible fall. Coach Chad Busek came to the rescue. They spoke to Les Trent. In September, a motorist in Florida had a potentially deadly exchange with another driver, as Les Trent reported. A motorist zips down a Florida highway while shooting through his windshield. Shards of glass fly as his passenger freaks out. The shooter, identified as Marco Mazetta, says he was defending himself in a wild case of road rage. Moments earlier, he says he brake-checked another driver in a Nissan he thought was tailgating him, causing the other driver to bump him from behind. What the, the Nissan then speeds around Mazetta's truck, and when you blow up the video, it looks like he has a gun. Mazetta then pulls his gun from his waistband and starts shooting. The whole incident lasts about eight minutes before the Nissan drives off. 
Mazetta says after the incident, he pulled over and called police. No charges. Offered him candy and invited him to go for a ride. The 10-year-old tried to open his front door, but it was locked. He called for his mom as the car backed up. Mom! Get away! Get away! He yelled at the people in the car and picked up rocks to throw at them. Go ahead! Go ahead! I was terrified. Graydon told Stephen Fabian he was walking home from his basketball coach's house outside Salt Lake City, Utah at about 6 p.m. when the car approached him. Go ahead! After yelling and grabbing the rocks, Graydon ran to a neighbor's house. The car followed him. Go ahead! In February 2020, we had a memorable story out of Kentucky. A masked man barged into a restaurant, showed a gun, and asked the cashier for money. The restaurant looked abandoned, but in the back, a married couple was having a bite to eat. Just so happens they were both cops. The newlyweds just wanted a quiet night out. They spoke to Arles Trent. I could see the man's hands and I could see the firearm in his hand. It wasn't until I saw the cashier's hands go up like this and I looked at him. I was like, is he doing what I think he's doing? When they realized what was happening, they leapt out of the booth with guns drawn. They charged at the robber who made a run for it. You went right and I went left and it prevented him from coming out the back. One of those things when we train, we train not to you know, be in front of each other to avoid crossfire yeah. across or one behind another. The perp was apprehended and this crime fighting couple called heroes. When you look back on this and realize that you just happened to be in the right place at the right time, I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> It's it's always going to stand out, you know. It's going to bring back the uh, bring back the date night that uh, that turned crazy. In May, a story out of Bakersfield, California. Hey, get out, get out of here. It was some quick thinking from this brave ten-year-old who helped foil a possible burglary. Lola had climbed into the passenger seat of her family's car, parked in their driveway. Then a man strolled up and went into the family's garage through the open door. Lola sprang into action and yelling at the guy. Hey, get out! Get out of here! Megan Alexander spoke to Lola and her dad. No one in there. I just kind of felt like he's not supposed to really be here. Her screams were enough to scare off the guy. How proud are you of your daughter? Oh, I'm so, so, so proud. She has a lot of confidence, and uh, I feel like that's what played a big role in that situation. It opens your eyes and shows everybody else what exactly could really happen in the blink of an eye. Hey, get up! Get out of here! There was another heart-stopping catch in July. Two children were dropped from the window of a burning building. People gathered below to catch them. The terrifying incident happened in Grenoble, France. The kids, 3 and 10 years old, were taken to a hospital and treated for smoke inhalation. They were unharmed by the fall, though two good Samaritans had to be treated for injuries they sustained while making the save. Effects of the blast were captured by a wedding photographer. The couple looked radiant, but then... Windows were shattered and dust and debris filled the air. The photographer reported that neither the couple nor anyone involved are seen played out at the same time in another part of the city. The wedding party rushed for cover, shaken but unhurt. Meanwhile, at a hospital in Beirut, a woman giving birth was shaken by the blast. <laughs> Shortly afterward, baby George was born healthy.